people from all over the world come to visit the white sand beaches of Cancun, Mexico. But there's so much more to this beautiful Mexican city. If you've been thinking about taking a trip to Cancun, then this video is for you. I'll be sharing with you the top 10 things to do in Cancun. This spectacular city has so much to offer from its wildlife, their culture, and history. By the end of the video, you'll know exactly where to go and what to do in Cancun for you to get the best experience. So stick around to the end of the video because your trip to Cancun might just be the best trip yet. Have some fun in the sun in Playa del Finas. Cancun is known for its turquoise beaches and fine white sand. Cancun is filled with a ton of beaches, so it can be hard to choose which beach to visit. But one that you definitely shouldn't miss out on is Playa del Finas. It's one of the best beaches in Cancun, if not the very best. And it's the biggest too. It's conveniently a cab ride away from the hotel zone. In Playa del Finas, you can lay on the beach and get a tan. Play in the sand because who says building sand castles are just cool for kids? Or relax in your beach towel under your umbrella with a book. This is the perfect getaway from the hustle and bustle of this city. You'll see a lot more locals here than tourists. Don't forget to read Cancun's beach safety warnings for you to stay safe while having fun. Learn more history in the Chichen Itza ruins. A designated UNESCO World Heritage Site, Chichen Itza Ruins is over 1,000 years old, located in the Yucatan Peninsula and is considered to be an important site of historical significance. You wouldn't want to miss out on this must-see tourist destination. This was an important part of the Mayan civilization who occupied this area during their period. You also have the option of hiring a touring outfitter if you want to learn more in-depth about the history of the city, or you could also do a self-guided tour to see what's left of the ruins. After strolling around learning more about their history, tourists like to take a dip in the Chichen Itza Cenote, which I'll be talking about later, so stick around until the end of the video. This is Travel Pug, your travel guide around the world. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on more videos here on Travel Pub. Stare in awe at the Las Colorados. You've probably already seen Las Colorados in photos. Now is the time to see these out of this world pink lakes. These lakes are famously known for their pink hues, located three and a half hours away from Cancun. You'll especially love this if you're into scenic views and taking cute photos. These lakes were made in Rio Lagardo's municipality, where a nearby salt plant was created. This is now part of a 100,000 acres nature reserve. You must be wondering why the lakes are pink. This is because brine shrimp, plankton, and red algae take habitat here because of the lake's high salinity. Three and a half hours might be quite a trip, but it'll be worth it because these pink lakes will surely put you in a trance. Wander in the Museo Subacuatico de Arte. The Museo Subacuatico de Arte is also popularly known as Musa. This should definitely be part of your list of destinations. Not only will this underwater museum leave you in awe, but the unique experience you'll have here will be ingrained in your memories forever. This is part of a conservation effort, as well as aside from being an art exhibit, you'll see tons of huge underwater statues that were put there to promote the development of coral reefs. There are two ways you can experience Musa. For those who love the water, you can dive here to get a closer look at the exhibits. You can neither snorkel or scuba dive. Whatever you feel will be most memorable for you. For those who would appreciate admiring the art from afar, there's also a glass bottom boat you can ride to have a view of the museum. You wouldn't want to miss out on a trip to Tullam. A trip to Tullam will be worth your while. Just an hour and a half drive from Cancun is this vibrant Mexican city. Filled with culture, history, and amazing beaches too. It's not that far from Cancun, so it's good for a day or overnight trip. Aside from the beaches you'll find in Tulum, there is more attractions. You might want to consider exploring too. The Tulum ruins overlooking the Caribbean and Shell Ha, where you get to take a dip in the water with stingrays and sea turtles. 
Tullam is also popularly known for its cenotes. Whatever you choose to do in the city of Tullam, you'll be sure to have a memorable experience. Swim in clear waters in Quintana Roo's underground stalactite rivers. If you're looking for an adventure, take a trip to Quintana Roo's underground stalactite rivers. It's in the south of Cancun, located in Playa del Carmen. If you're into hammock splashing and zip lining, you'll have an absolute blast here. Don't forget to have a swim to an underground stalactite river. The river is 475 yards, but there are exits every 109 yards if you just want to try it out real quick for the experience. It stays at 75 degrees Fahrenheit all year round, so no matter the weather, it's great to swim in. They light up the river for you to enjoy looking and wander. At the prehistoric stalactites hanging above, if you take a swim until the end of the river, you get a breathtaking surprise, a scenic view off a waterfall. Take your Instagram photos in Cenote et Kill. Tourists around the world walk to the Yucatan Peninsula to see the cenote it kill. You might be wondering, what are cenotes? They are sinkholes and jungles that get filled up with water. This creates amazing swimming holes. Cenote it kill is a special one because it's located near Chichen Itza. It's a perfect place to go after enjoying the rich history of Cancun. Don't forget to practice swimming safety and take note of the rules for you to stay safe on your trip. Ride the ferry to Isla Mujeres. Just a quick ferry ride away. From the hotel zone is a tiny island called Isla Mujeres. This tiny island is the best spot to go. If you want a break from the busy streets of Cancun, it's the best place to clear your head, read a book and lie under the sun. It's known for Playa Norte. If you're looking for great authentic Mexican food, no need to look elsewhere because Playa Norte has got just that for you. It's a small downtown area where you can grab a bite to eat. Aside from the great food and ultimate relaxation this place has to offer, you can also explore further and go snorkeling at Garaf and Reef Park. They also offer kayaking and zip lining if you're into that. Explore and shop at Mercado 28. There are plenty of options for you to choose where to stay during your trip. Airbnbs, resorts, or hostels, but most choose to stay in the hotel zone. The hotel zone is where you'll get the most accommodations, and the beaches surrounding it are just incomparable. Wherever you choose to stay, make sure you go to Mercado 28, downtown of Cancun. They have the best Mexican food, and the shops sell souvenirs for you to take home with you. You'll find lots of great stuff at the flea market. It's a unique experience to experience more of their culture and to be able to get to know more from their locals. Turn around Neshupte Lagoon. Neshupte Lagoon covers almost 12 square miles of Cancun, made up of seven lagoons. You can choose to stay among the many hotel options that overlook this natural beauty. The lagoon is home to mangrove trees and hundreds of local wildlife species. You can go snorkeling, paddle boarding, kayaking, or even diving in the lagoon. It's recommended that you explore the area in a speedboat. It's the best way to experience going through this dense jungle and enjoying this scenery. There is no doubt as to why Cancun is a famous tourist hotspot. From the pristine beaches, all the history and culture, it undoubtedly deserves a place in your bucket list of places to travel. Cancun offers so many attractions, places to visit, and activities to do that it will keep your itinerary full for at least two to three weeks. While you're planning your trip, be sure to add the places I've mentioned. You wouldn't want to miss out on them. Go book your trip to Cancun, Mexico now. Would you rather dive in the underwater museum or ride a glass bottom boat to see the art? Share with us in the comments below. This is Travel Puck, your guide and forever travel buddy. If you enjoyed and loved this video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.